Salutations, spooks, spirits, and specters, and welcome back to Clive Barker's Undying. Where last time, uh, poor old Jeremiah was murdered by Ambrose. And we shall avenge him, starting... Starting by, uh, yeah, dealing with uh, Kessinger, because, you know... It's obviously the person who did everything. Oh, hello, sir. It's sad about Jeremiah. I'm sure he would have wished to see this mystery solved. He was always trying to unravel the family problem, even when deathly sick. Perhaps you can find some clues among the items in his room. Please ignore the fact that my hands went right through my torso. This has been knocked over. You're not gonna jammed. You're not gonna just let me go for it, huh? Okay, fine. I understand. That's obviously not what I needed. Won't budge. It won't budge. So that door was jammed. That's the guest room where I just came from. How about over here? Is this door open? Need a key. I need Bethany's room key. Stuck. That one's stuck. This is Elizabeth's room. John. Hello, Aaron. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is that? That thing is fast. That was insanely fast! I don't like it. Did not like that thing. Need a key. That's the study key. Okay, so we have study key and Bethany room key. Okay. Thank you, Aaron. Oh, hello. Another one of these guys, huh? You missed me. I don't like those things. That was actually this thing here. This is that creature I remember seeing in the review. I did not like seeing that thing. That was all sorts of creepy. Hello. Right. I didn't mean to click that button, but it happened. Won't budge. That one won't. Hmm. Hmm. Stop. Oh, I remember now. This is his room. Nothing here, just a whole bunch of silver bullets, okay. You gotta tell the, the picture. Why good. did you leave me? You knew what was going on. This is all your fault. You invited him. Know so little of the real world, the sights I have partaken. Oh, how naive we all were so long ago. Stop, stop. This is not what I wanted. This life you cling to is a thread that draws you back into the chaos. You're unraveling, brother, and you don't even know it. The king is more my brother than you have ever been, Jeremiah. Uh, I didn't know. Where's Beth? Where's that darling whore sister of mine? I'll make sure she gets what's coming to her. Why Bethany? What did she do? Perhaps the rat should feast on you as well. You can never get used to it. The gnaw, the tittering. I was still alive, you know. I couldn't scream, but I could most certainly feel. 
Alright. What madness is this? Scrying inside Jeremiah's room, I overheard a past conversation with Aaron ranting at my poor friend. The lunatic is furious at Jeremiah for something incomprehensible. He spoke of a king being more a brother than he ever had, and demanded to know where Bethany is. What revenge is Aaron looking for against his own sister? Well, based on a little thing I n note in the greenhouse, something about his lower jaw missing? All right, this journal entry here. This may be the last record of a once great family. For nine generations, the Covenants have occupied these grounds, yet I sense that we have never been alone. In the past months, I have witnessed the deaths of my siblings and the horrors of their resurrections. It is worse than I could ever could have imagined. The Covenant name has been tainted by my siblings, yet I fear it is my doing. As a youth, I yielded to temptation and brought them to the Standing Stones. I had thought Father's books on the occult were harmless entertainment, tricks for my imagination. Whatever we unleashed on that day has been with us since, and as my sickness grows, my strength seeds. To cure these cursed grounds? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I will need help. I must find Patrick Fitzgerald. Patrick is a man capable of the extraordinary. extraordinary. I have not spoken to Patrick in some time. His last letter mentioned that on his travels he had discovered some good uses for magic and the occult. I find this ironic considering Patrick's pedantic tendencies, but perhaps his newly formed talents will serve him well when he arrives here at the manor. I feel I must be honest with him when he arrives. The task ahead of us are the tasks ahead of us are daunting. I am sure e I am unsure that even Patrick with his uncanny skill can survive. Yes, we died many many times to dynamite of all things. <laughs> Gotta love the mirror. Gotta love the mirror. I'm gonna put up a shield in case I get attacked again, though. Anything back this way? Stuck. Stuck. Jammed. Ellie, the door locks. I'm just gonna take a walk around down here just to make sure there ain't nothing I can't see yet. <laughs> Blood. Oh, Molly. So much blood. <laughs> Let's circle strafe each other, shall we? <laughs> That's fine. So much blood. Oh, it's, you're you're blocked. Okay, and this. Jammed. Well, we know what's jamming up those do the doors nowadays. It's, it's, it's not howlers anymore. Right, right to right. So we'll head over there. We'll knock on the uh, study room. And uh, yeah, see what happens then. Study was this way, if I recall. These guys just pop in with lightning. Like, oh, hey, look at me. I've got lightning. I'm all about the light, man. Hello? Jeremiah, have you left a clue for me in here? Left a key. Okay. At least there's a nice sink. Widow's watch key. I remember where that room is. 
I've prepared the ritual. I don't think I can go through with this. I know this spell could be a powerful means for me to protect this family, but the risk may be too great. Perhaps I don't truly believe in the power of the black art. It, is it possible for these unnatural incantations to protect us from the unassailable power of nature's raw energy? If the times were not so desperate, I could change my mind. My fear that the ritual may be discovered by the children seems unfounded. The ascent to Widow's Watch is dangerous and unlikely to be discovered, yet I must attempt it once again, if only to see whether my naive tinkering with the tower has had any further ill effect. I am sure that it was my wanton interference that attracted the attention of these malevolent spirits. I believe these magical devices called ether traps, or ether, it could be ether. I, I, I'm saying I, ether. I'm going to go with ether. Ether traps should protect me if only I can trick the specters into them. The more I explore the realms of magic, the more I have come to fear it. May our souls be protected. The Father. Alright, well, I'm all out of time. So, at least we know we're going to head over to Widow's Peak next time. So until then, thank you all very much for watching, and ciao for now. Ciao for now.